You are God's own people. You are God's prized and purchased possession. You are the one with whom God aims to spend eternity with. God chose you. God cared for you. God delighted in you. God acquired you by the blood and the sacrifice of his son, Jesus. And in so doing, God set you apart to be holy as he is holy. Now, I want to be really careful at this point because I I don't want you to hear that this is some have higher self-esteem or here's three ways to love yourself type of message. I'm not telling you to look at some future better version of your life for happiness and fulfillment. The message here is look at the grace and love of God lavished upon you. I'm not telling you to look at the future. I'm telling you to look at what's already been done for you on the cross because that is where self-esteem and happiness and fulfillment come from. You're a holy nation. You're a people for his own possession. Another translation of this uh, says that you are a peculiar people. (laughs) I love that translation. You're peculiar. You are a strange people. (laughs) You are odd. You are different. You are unusual. Some of y'all are like, thank you. People have been telling me that my whole life. (laughs) Finally get some validation here. You were chosen to stand out. You were chosen to be different. You were chosen to be holy. God consecrated you to himself. He set you apart from this sin-stained world and destined that you should lead a pure and holy life that points to him. As a follower of Jesus Christ, you were never meant to fit in because God has called you to stand out for his glory. See, when you truly grasp what God did for you, it's actually going to give you a desire to live holy for him as part of this holy nation. 